How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your brother QL810W wireless thermal printer on a Wi-Fi network. We're working on the 810W however this will work with other thermal printers the 820NWB, the QL1110NWB, and the QL700 series wireless printers as well. I've been needing to make this video for over a year because some people don't have WPS buttons on their Wi-Fi router, which is the first method we're gonna go over in this video. It's the easiest one. I highly recommend trying to do that first and then going to either on Windows or Mac, you will need a computer to program the printer with your wireless network name and the Wi-Fi password. There is an index in the description. Make sure to check that out if you wanna skip around, save yourself some time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the Wi-Fi setup. Now we're gonna turn the printer on by pressing the power button. We get a green LED indicating that we have power. Now we're gonna turn on the Wi-Fi by holding down the Wi-Fi button for a little bit. Once it turns blue, you can release it. We're gonna set up the Wi-Fi. Now that our Wi-Fi is on, we're going to hold this WPS button right here. As soon as this starts blinking, you're gonna go over to your Wi-Fi router. My Wi-Fi router is right here. You're gonna have to find the WPS button on your Wi-Fi router. It might be on the front, it might be on the side, it might be on the back. It just depends. If you have a Wi-Fi mesh router, it might even say sync and you have to hold the sync button down and not the WPS button. However, mine has a WPS button on the side right here. I'm gonna press and hold it down. That front light starts blinking. And now my Wi-Fi and my printer are both in WPS mode trying to connect. Once you activate WPS on both devices, you only have like a 30 second to a minute window to get them both talking to each other. And then it will take about 30 seconds or so while they're both blinking in order to get a solid blue light. And that means we are connected to Wi-Fi. Make sure your printer USB cable is not plugged in at this time. We will go over when to plug it in later on in the video. So you're gonna open a browser, Safari or Chrome, and you're going to navigate to brother-usa.com. I will put a link to this in the description for your convenience. And right here where it says support, you're gonna click on that drop down, and then you're going to click on software and driver downloads. Then you're going to scroll down and you're gonna type in the model number of your printer. If it's the QL1110NWB, if it's the QL710W, the QL720W, ours is the QL810W. We're gonna type that in and we're going to hit enter or you can click on search. It should pop up with a link to the support page with the downloads for that printer. You're gonna click on that. Then it should automatically recognize your version of Mac and we're on 10.14, we're gonna hit okay, and we're gonna download the full software package. We're gonna click on that. We're going to agree to the end user license agreement, and that is now downloading over here. Once that downloads, you're either going to navigate to your downloads folder, or you're just going to click on the DMG over here in the browser, and it's going to verify the file, and then open up this. I'm going to double click on start here Mac and hit open. That popped up with this connection type and we want to install wireless. We're going to hit next. So in order to set up wireless it pops up with this wizard and using USB cable temporarily connect your printer to your computer. Now we're going to take that USB cable we're going to plug it into our Mac either directly if you have a USB port or with a converter dongle if you need it to be converted to USB-C. Then we're gonna hit next, and then we're gonna check this and confirm, and then hit next. And now it's searching for wireless networks. Uh, it took about 20, 30 seconds, and now it pops up with all of these networks that are found by your printer and computer. Ours is eight foot ceilings. We're gonna click it and then we're gonna hit next. It's gonna ask for a network key. You need to type it in exactly as it is. Lowercase, uppercase, numbers, letters, spaces, everything has to be perfect in order for it to work. Ours is year of the aux, all lowercase. And then we're gonna hit next. We're gonna hit next again. Now it's submitting settings to the printer. 
basically programming the printer with that wireless network name and that wireless password so it should be able to connect to your wireless network. Now it's saying to disconnect the USB cable from the printer and the computer so I'm going to unplug that and we have completed the wireless setup. So make sure you don't plug your printer in until indicated later on in the video. Windows can be kind of difficult with auto installing drivers and it will make the process more complicated. You're going to open up your favorite browser. I like to use Google Chrome. And then you're going to navigate to brother-usa.com. I will put a link to it in the description as well, just for your convenience. Once the site loads, you're going to click on the dropdown of support, and then you're going to go to software and driver downloads. Click on that. It's going to bring you to this page. You scroll down a little bit, and there is a search bar for your model number of your printer. Ours is the QL810W. Yours is the QL700W, 710W, 720W, QL1110NWB. Whatever printer you're trying to install the Wi-Fi on, you're going to type that in and then you're going to hit search. And here is a link to the drivers for the QL810W. I'm going to click on that. There's a little picture of our printer. You're going to want to pick your operating system if it doesn't already automatically pick. Mine did and I have Windows 10 64-bit. That is correct. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to download this software slash document installer. That is like an all-in-one. So we're gonna click on that. We're gonna scroll down, agree to the end user license agreement and download. It should download in your browser or if you have to navigate to your downloads folder, you're gonna then double click on the application and it'll run this brother software installer. You're not gonna see this on the screen record for whatever reason, but you're just going to hit yes. Now that we got here, you're going to plug the USB cable into the back of the printer. Now we're going to plug it into the computer and then click the auto select button. It should recognize the printer. If it doesn't, it says to hit refresh and then it should recognize and then you're going to hit okay. From here, it's going to install the P-Touch editor, address book, update. It's gonna in install some software that you can use, the printer driver, the printer setting tool, all of those, you're going to hit okay. Here is a license agreement. You're just going to hit agree, and then the installation process. I'm gonna download the printer driver and all of the software. Okay, so it downloaded, it extracted, and it installed a bunch of stuff on my computer. Now we have this install shield wizard for the Brother QL810W. We're gonna hit next. Select the connection type you want to install and then click next. We actually want to install it via wireless. So we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna hit next. And then we're gonna leave it as Brother peer-to-peer -peer, and then we're gonna hit next. And then firewall, we're gonna continue without changing the Windows firewall settings hit next and then it prompts us with this wireless device setup do we have usb yes i have usb gonna hit next so we're going to temporarily connect to the printer so i'm actually going to unplug it and then plug it back in because it needs to like trigger that the printer was plugged in so all i did was unplug it and plug it back into the computer and it triggered to to continue going and now we're going to program the printer to our Wi-Fi network. Right now it's searching for networks. It picked the network that my computer is already connected to, which is eight foot ceilings. If, if that is indeed the correct network that you want to connect it to, hit next. If it's not, click no and then go to next. And then it will give you this setup where you can pick whatever network that you want. But however, we do want to click eight foot ceiling. So we're going to highlight that and then we're going to hit next. Now it's going to ask for my network key. You're going to want to make sure you type this in correctly, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, symbols, whatever it is, you have to type it in exactly the same. Otherwise it's not going to work. Our password is all lowercase year of the aux. And then I'm going to hit next. 
confirmation comes up, we're gonna hit next again. And now it's sending a signal from the computer. It's programming the printer. It's got some blinking lights on it. I think it reset, but it's programming from the computer to the printer to where the wireless settings will be saved eventually on the printer. Okay, now we can disconnect the USB from our computer. We could unplug it from the print, the back of the printer if you want, and then you're going to hit next. Now your printer should be on your wireless network. We're not going over the installation in this video, strictly the network setup. It's already 10 minutes long. If you wanna see specifically how to install it or need more help, check the corresponding link in the description if you're setting it up on Mac or if you're setting it up on PC, or if you're on Android, it's the same setup as the brother QL1100 and 10 NWB. I have a video out there of that. We'll put a link to that in the description. And if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any problems or questions, throw them in the comment section and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.